So I have been reading this book. I read lots of books, but there's some that I can read over and over and over. And one of them is this book by Twyla Tharp called The Creative Habit, um, Learn It and Use It for Life. Um, Twyla Tharp is a well-known dancer. She's done some Broadway shows. Um, she's just really well respected and this book was written in 2003 and I've read it um, a couple times and each time I read it I, I something sticks out right um, I call those type of books my soul books because every time I read them they just really touch my soul and they open something up and every time I read them something new comes at me that I probably read before and just skipped by it um, and I always think it's interesting that she starts this book off with the thought that everything starts with an empty space. And for her as a dancer, she goes into this room, and this room has four walls. They're usually white, and it's just this big, white, empty space. And then she has to decide how she's going to fill this space, how she's going to use this space, what this space means to her. But she always starts with the empty space. And it reminds me of this quote, that, uh, it says something, if your cup is always full, you'll never be able to add anything new to it. You're always going to be overflowing and trying to catch the spill. But if you have this cup where there's room to add whatever flavor, whatever drink you're drinking to it, and it, and it really makes more sense. And so when she talks about uh, the creative habit, learn it and use it for life, and she starts off saying, well, you've got to start with this empty space. If you're a painter, you start with a canvas. If you're a sculptor, sculptor, you start with a block of something, right? If you start with intentions, you start with this emptiness. And how can I create this? Some people create um, vision boards. Some people create um, sounds. But it all starts with this emptiness and how this big empty is 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 great and we have to clear to get to this big empty and then even the title of the book the creative habit totally blew what i thought about creativity out of the water because when you think about creativity you think about oh well some people are born creative or i've got to have all this to be creative and she's saying to be creative it has to be a habit you can't be creative and not have habits. You know, we see these movies where people, they sit at a piano and the next thing you know, they've got this beautiful piece of music or or um, they, they're at this canvas and the next thing you know, there's this painting. But if you read the biographies of all these people that create, they show up every morning, every day, and they do hours and hours of work and practice and I started taking acting classes because you know when you see a really great actor on TV it, it, it just it's magical right it seems like they're not even acting but I can tell you from being in acting class it takes a lot to get to that point and the and the actors that you see that master that they've had years and years of practice and they have habits and they have rituals and so I realized that this week when I um, was looking at my intentions and my goals for the week because goals had to be very specific. You know, a lot of people start off, well, my goal for the year is this. Or my goal for the next couple of months. No, goals are only accomplished through habits and routines and rituals. 
uh, one of the definitions of rituals is a devotion to a practice. So if we have goals, what rituals, what routines, what habits, and in all of those, there's creativity. What, what do we do to get to those goals? A friend of mine said, you gotta be very specific. If your goal is to work out and lose weight, you can't say, well, I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna lose weight. You say, I'm gonna work out five times a week for this amount of time, and you set that goal. You set that intention. And one of my intentions for uh, this month is to be very clear about living life. I love to cook. I love to, um, to entertain. And I haven't entertained in months because it's something, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have people over. I'm taking the steps now and I'm saying, you know what, this is the menu. This is me shopping for the menu. This is me inviting people. I'm just taking those steps, doing the routines, making these rituals, this, this devotion, this creativity, because I want to be around people and to entertain and to invite them over for food to be a habit in my life. I, lo I love it. I really do. So, um... I'm going to read more of this book once again, and I am going to think about what I want to create, what intentions that I have, and then create this start with this big empty space and what am I going to fill it with. 